may have some questions. Uh, maybe some of the things that Rachel shared cause you to think about other things. And uh, let's take a few minutes to engage in any questions you may have. And if not, uh, then we'll dismiss. And Rachel will be here for a few minutes afterwards. Any questions that you think might be helpful for us to uh, talk about? I can't have explained it that thoroughly. <laughs> Sign of a good teacher. <laughs> I'll ask one, just to get you know, it's moving. Any All right. Question here. Um, you said that, I was kind of confused on the fact that you said the whole confidence thing. Are you trying to say not to walk on the stage with swagger, but rather, or uh, not to strut, but then at the same time, are we supposed to not feel confident? I'm kind of confused oh. on the whole Idea. No, definitely you have to walk on stage with confidence. Okay. I think I, I'm trying to say that you need to have confidence in your abilities, in the level of preparation that you have, in your understanding of who you are, and your knowledge of the music. Having a reason for everything you do, every choice you make musically. To be able to defend it if someone said, why are you doing that? You have a reason. Um, Definitely. I mean, that's a must. You don't want to hear a performer that goes on stage and is not confident in what they're doing. If they don't believe in themselves, why would, we, why would the audience believe in them? I think there's a difference between that and going on, ugh, I am the best person out here. You know? Having that swagger, like you said, and, and pride. I think there's a huge difference between that, and yet, Again, the line is very fine between having just a presence and a confidence and, and coming across or actually being proud. Does that answer? Okay, so you're saying just have a balance between confidence and humility then. Is that kind of what you're trying to say? Um, yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I think that Pride has its foundation in confidence, and confidence has its foundation in experience. Um, you can't, well, and this is just me, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not writing the book as I sit here, but um, I think you can't, uh, you, your confidence shouldn't be, I, I, I guess I'm just commentating less than anything okay. on, on the dialogue you just had, um, but your confidence has to be rooted in experience, yes. I mean. You know, some people have said before, if you're going to play a wrong note, make it the best wrong note anyone's ever played in the world. Right. <laughs> Be dedicated. But besides that, I mean, coming on the stage of confidence, I feel like, David, I mean, if you're going on the stage, I feel like you should have confidence, not because you're making yourself confident and being confident, but because you prepare accordingly and you're ready to play. I mean, there should be, a, I think, an evident confidence in that. And I think pride comes when your basis is not upon the experience and your preparation for that event, but upon the confidence that you already have, that you're just confident in yourself for confidence's sake. Right. Um, which I think is dangerous. Right, I think you're absolutely right. I don't think that pride necessarily is a result of confidence. I don't think it's an absolute next step. So I think you can be confident without being proud. Mm -hmm. oh, I, think, I think so too. Yeah. Some of it may have to do also with uh, how you view the event. If you are serving the music, then then pride is kind of an irrelevant response. You, know, you can have confidence that you're prepared so that you can serve. Pride would probably insert yourself in front of the music, and that might be a distinction you know, at that point. Other questions, comments? Rachel, thank you so much. It's been really delightful.